out here and welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by Bharat Electronics Limited. Um, now this particular notification has been released on the official website of Bharat Electronics Limited. And we can go to the job notifications tab in the careers option. And then we can see there is a recruitment opportunity, which has been released for engineers on fixed tenure basis. Here we can click on the detailed advertisement and uh, six page notification will be seen over here. Now, see Bharat Electronics, which is a Navratta company, they have released uh, deputy engineer positions for uh, electronics and mechanical students. Now, total number of posts which are released for electronic students are eight and for mechanical uh, students, it is 12. Now, upper age limit is also mentioned over here. Upper age limit as on 1st of February 2025. For general and EWS, it is 28 years. For OBC, it is 31 years. For SCST category, it is 33 years. Now, reservation positions. Now, with respect to the reservations also, they have mentioned how much is the seat bifurcation as per reservation. Now, pay scale, it is uh, 40,000 to 3% that is uh, 1 lakh 40,000 uh, basic pay will be 40,000 and then uh, CTC is 11.67 lakhs over here right and uh, the date of advertisement is 7th of March 2025 so keep that in mind also 7th of March 2025 essential qualifications have been mentioned over here now this is uh, you know, for the graduate students who have done bachelor's degree, B.Tech students, we can see the essential qualification as well. For electronic students, candidates should possess B B.Tech. That is your four year course in electronics, either electronics and communication, electronics, telecommunication, communication uh, or telecommunication from a, a recognized institute or university. General OBC EWS candidates should have their first class degrees and SCST should have secured a pass class degree. So for SCST and PWBD category, the degree should be just pass class, but uh, the other students, they should have a first class degree. Now also keep that in mind, some students will tend to ask me this in the comment section that, sir, um, if electrical students are eligible or not. See, here, if electrical students would have been eligible, they would have mentioned it clearly over here. Right? Electrical electronics like that. They would have mentioned it. So it is not mentioned. So I'll say it is not, they, they are not eligible over here. Deputy engineer position for mechanical engineering students, B, B Tech. Um, from open also it is applicable. BSE engineering if you have done for four year course in mechanical. So here also mechanical automation, mechanical this, mechanical that. Nothing is uh, applicable. Only the students of core mechanical engineering students will be eligible over here. And general OBC and EWS candidates should possess first class degree and SCST and PWD PWBD candidates should uh, possess a secured pass class degree. Right? So this is clearly mentioned over here. Now one more thing, uh, candidates having essential qualification with other disciplines will not be considered. So they have mentioned it clearly over here. So there is no confusion at all. So candidates having essential qualifications with other disciplines will not be applicable, right? And in case there is no mention of the specialization in the qualifying degree as required in the essential education qualification, the candidates are required to submit a certificate from their university or institute with a clear mention to their specialization in the qualifying degree, right? So the name of the engineering is very essential, right? Students tend to ignore this a lot, right? Before opting any engineering degree, right? Uh, the terms of engagement, the selected candidates will be engaged initially for a, a period of five years, right? Uh, and can be extended up to for two years. So maximum tenure of seven years based on the requirement and individual performance will be taken. Right. So gone are those days, first of all, that PSUs do not consider the performance of the candidates. Performance in the PSUs also matters a lot in the current times. Now we have seen this in a couple of notifications as well. 
they are recruiting on the basis of contract like tenure basis and uh, at the end they would be mentioning that they can also extend it if the performance is appropriate for the candidate so keep that in mind students who tend to think that psus do not focus on performance and everything of the candidates uh, so it is a very chill job you can do anything it's not the case in the current times in future also there is a very high chance that in the government sector also you would see that uh, performance based uh, jobs would be seen and on the basis of your performance only students will be recruited and your increments will be corresponding to that only so keep that in mind like gone are those days because government will be focusing on efficiency in future it is uh, the current need of the government as well what i tend to think right and it should be done actually right uh, post qualification experience it is not required so uh, freshers can apply in this remuneration as told selected candidates will be inducted on a pay scale of 40000 three person that is 1 like 40000 per month in addition to the basic pay there will be other allowances as well so as you can see dns allowance house rental allowance um uh, performance related pay uh, group insurance medical facilities provident fund as per the company's rules will be uh, given in the remuneration package and the ctc will be 11.67 lakhs now application fee has also been mentioned over here 472 rupees uh, you know this is including the 18% gst and after that scst pwd category it is exemption is there um, and there is no refundable as the application fee is also not refundable for general category students candidates may go through all the instructions and eligibility criteria carefully right so you have to think carefully uh, before applying for the job instructions of making payment also it is mentioned if you want to see you can look at it um, it is same for all the categories yeah mode of selection that is important selection will be through a computer based test and an interview so there will be a computer based test and an interview and 85% will be 85% weightage will be given to the uh, exam and 15% will be given to the interview candidates who meet the eligibility criteria and whose online application has been accepted will be provisionally shortlisted uh, for the computer based test and then consecutively you will be allowed for the interview right now in the exam part 1 15 marks there will be general awareness 15 marks now there will be 15 questions of mental ability aptitude logical reasoning analytical comprehension ability basic numeracy uh, data interpretation skills and general knowledge after that part 2 uh, will be your technical and trade aptitude 70 marks would be there in that and um, comprises of 70 questions of your technical and professional knowledge of your respective subject it will be asked right now a minimum qualifying marks in the computer based test it is 35% for general category and for scst pwbd category right now how to apply you can go to the official website um, and uh, the link will uh, start open from the 7th of march 2025 right so this is required to be followed uh, and if you are a working professional you need to provide a non objection certificate as well right all the documents are also required and you are not required to carry any um electronic equipment also now let's see the documents which you are required to upload passport size photograph and signature your mark sheet your score card your 10th class certificate all semester exam mark sheet uh yearly mark sheet b b tech and everything after that final convocation certificate b b tech everything proof of norms also adopted by the university for cgpa right so cgpa that is very essential how you are converting that cgpa to percentage that is required to be submitted your uh, uh, payment chalan as well non objection certificate photo id proof that aadhar aadhar card or driving license or etc right is same as that of other um, application forms now see start date is 7th of march and uh, last date will be 31st of 31st of march right so this is your final date of application applying online so keep this in mind right so these are the important considerations for bell recruitment process for the year 2025 this is on fixed tenure basis it's a wonderful opportunity for electronics and mechanical students do apply for this position if you are eligible 
Now for further updates, please subscribe to our channel and do share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.